Greg, a, a sizable donation um, at a very important time, I imagine. Yeah, it's a really uh, good gesture from the club. It um, goes to help the most vulnerable at this time of the year. Um, kids who sometimes wouldn't get something in Christmas morning. Um, so, no, it's, it's certainly a very nice uh, gesture. How have um, how've you found your return from injury? How's it been for you? Yeah, good to be fair. Um, Sunday went well. Uh, shoulder felt good. And it was a good team performance. So, nice to be back out there. There's been a lot of talk the last week about reinforcements coming in, especially in your area. Is that something you relish, that sort of competition? How much does that make you a better player if there is? We're as well just, we're as well just copy and paste in this for every press I do. There's always going to be a competition in every place. At the size of this club, it's it's normal. Uh, every player looks to relish it and um, hopefully uh, it, it, it brings the squad stronger. Greg, the, the manager has spoken very highly of you as well since he's joined. How much confidence has that given you? And did it give you that added boost and desire to get back in the team once you were fit as well? Definitely. Um, the manager's been different class since he came in, and uh, especially for myself, it's been a new way of learning to play and one I've really enjoyed. So being on the sidelines, there's nothing worse, but thankfully the boys have put in a good run so when I've been out injured and it was nice to continue that when uh, I joined again on Sunday. You also committed your long-term future to the club as well. And obviously you're just getting back into the mix now, but how much is Celtic starting to feel like home for you? Yeah, I've been here, um, what, two and a half years now. Um, so I, I love it here. Uh, I love playing for the club. It's a massive, massive club and it's uh, there's pressure every week, but it's one I enjoy. And uh, I was desperate to be back out there. So for the 11 weeks I was out, it was uh, tough to watch. Just Greg, to pick up, Greg, on what, something that Rory said, obviously you said there's always going to be players coming in and things like that. When it gets to this stage of the season and the transfer windows coming up, do you as players, do you kind of pay attention to the speculation that's going around? Do you get excited by certain names being linked with the club? Um, no, because we've got that many games. There's no time to check what's been said. I know we're, we'll be linked with a number of players. Some will be true, some will be false. It's part and parcel of the game but uh, it's we, we do look forward to having the extra reinforcements we've got a strong squad as it is there's a lot of boys pushing to play as there is already in the building so if we're adding to that there's going to be uh, even more uh, competition so it can only hopefully improve us Does that competition I suppose keep everyone at their top level and raising their game all the time? Yeah exactly it does it drives them um, the standard through the roof so even if it's in training the manager's a big uh, believer on that is even if the boys aren't playing um, the training has to be right on it through the week because that does it keeps the levels high for uh, the game on the Saturday for who they're living that gets picked for it Greg the manager was saying about the game on Thursday despite the fact that there's nothing to play for in the group he feels that no games are dead rubber there's still a a big opportunity for the players to do something memorable. Do you think this is a good chance, especially for guys that maybe haven't had as much game time like yourself because of injury to to play, but play against high quality opposition as well? Well, first of all, uh, the gaffer will pick the 11 for Thursday night and then we'll, uh, then we'll see who's playing. Um, but I think he's, he's spot on. Um, it would be disrespectful, one, to the competition, but two, to the club, um, to put any game when you're playing for Celtic as a dead rubber. It's an uh, opportunity to impress, one, the manager, but two, to um, put on a performance for the fans. So no, I think it's certainly not that. I'm guessing it's the, the type of game when you've been out for so long that if you're selected, you'll be raring to go and, and desperate to be one of the 11 on the pitch. Every game you want to play, um, Sunday was no different. So I've, as I've been pushing for a return as quick as possible and I think Sunday was certainly doing that. So whether it's if I play Thursday, Sunday, Wednesday, whenever they are, uh, you look forward to doing it. Greg, obviously uh, it was 11 weeks out, as you were just saying. It is a tough time for a player, but is there any chance that you can use that almost as a positive? It gives you more time off the field to, to study what the new manager wants. And, you know, specifically with the, the full-back role, it's a, a very specific thing that, that the manager wants, inverted full-backs. Did you use that time to, to study positioning, study the game and, and watch all the games and learn from it? Well, yeah, when you're watching the games, you probably do naturally look at your position a wee bit more. Um, you've touched on it being a new way of playing, but I think it's it's a new way of playing for everyone. Um, it's not just the full-back being inside, because, and if you watch the games in depth, we're not always just inside, it's, it's at the right times. Um, so no, yeah, you try and learn when you're out injured, definitely, but uh, I wouldn't say that it's uh, 
it's all about oh the fullback being inside. There's more to yeah. it. I'm sure there is. I'm sure there is. Just finally on that as well. Eleven weeks out, you missed on a few Scotland camps. You had been in plenty of squads before that. How much? How desperate are you to to get back involved, especially with with the playoffs coming up in March, the next camp? Yeah, exactly. Um, the boys, the last few months for Scotland have been top drawer as the same as they have for Celtic. Um, but my focus right now has to be on Celtic and getting back playing here regularly, and then hopefully come March when the the playoff games come, I can be involved. Greg, I wonder if um, the the time that you've had out has enabled you maybe to, to reflect on the wider um, sort of changes at the club, the kind of um, size of the job that the manager's got and what he's been trying to do since he came in. Obviously, loads of players were signed, a uh, different way of playing. How how do you kind of see how things are, are going? Obviously, there's a cup final coming up. You're in contention at the top of the league. It's been quite a, quite a transformation, I suppose. Yeah, but I wouldn't say as a player that's our focus. We don't, we're, uh, we're here to train and play and that's pretty much what the gaffer leaves it down to us to do. Um, the rest of outside, whatever, will take care of itself. Um, but the focus on us ultimately is, for me, was certainly getting back fit, then training, then playing. And for the boys that have been playing, it's just train, recover, play. So that's where I try and keep the focus. And I guess it's a decent time to be coming back with all these games, Europe Cup final, league games every every few days. It's uh, it's quite a quite a period. Uh, yeah, that is. It's um, a hectic schedule. I think we've got eight games until the break. Uh, I've seen somewhere. So yeah, there'll be plenty of opportunities for everyone, and um, it's about taking them opportunities when you get them. Greg, the game on Thursday. So sorry, just one more from from me. Just the game on Thursday. Obviously, you've had a. You know, you, you, you know you're going to be in Europe after Christmas as well. Is there another chance to show that the, the, the progress you're making in Europe and, and you know, you've gone head-to-head -head with some big teams and attacked them and it's exciting games. Is there a good chance to, to do that and with, a, with, a, with an eye to the, the, the future games to, to keep that progression going? Yeah, um, it's a, a, the gaffer uh, stresses when you get the chance to play, it's an opportunity and it's about taking that. Um, that Thursday is no different, uh, the competition... Uh, it's um it's an it's an elite level, so we need to try and be right at it. But it's again just about on focus on us and continue to try and play the the football that we do.